My original surgeon did the first initial life saving surgeries as well as the initial skin grafts on my cheeks but unfortunately um, the day after he took off my bandages on my face he passed away. Luckily the replacement surgeon was actually aware of my case. I appreciate my initial surgeon and what he was able to do for me. I mean he saved my life but my current surgeon is great and I have a lot of faith in him. They had to rebuild my nose and so they took skin from up here. That's where this lovely receding hairline comes from. And it actually included hair follicles. So when they took it and turned it over to create the nose, hair came with it and it'll be renewed eventually. But that is what that is. So for everyone wondering, it is hair and it will be renewed. When I first started speech therapy, it was measured about five millimeters and I am now at 26 millimeters. My speech therapist has done wonders for me. I still need her because my jaw muscles need that exercise and I still need the help for the process. The answer is yes, I will get it out because I did get it out. Thank goodness, after nine months, I got my trach and had tube taken out and I feel like a more normal, functional human without tubes. <sighs> it's great. Anyway, yes. When I had my trach and head tube in, it was harder for me to get comfortable and now that it's out, it's a lot easier to get comfy. But the problem is getting to sleep. So I take melatonin and another sleep aid. Yes, I can eat and I had to rely on a peg tube for a while, but I got that out because I can finally eat enough orally every day. I do have struggles of eating, but I can eat for sure. So it will go down and it has gone down since the surgery. There are actually surgeries that I'll have called debulking surgeries. It'll take out mass and tissue that is not needed. And overall, in the end, it will not be this big. <laughs> the skin graft site is from my left thigh and they took that because I had enough tissue and fat um, on that part of my body to create this. So with a face transplant, there's a very big risk of my body rejecting the skin. And even then, if it does take, I have to, I would have to take medication for the rest of my life to make sure that the skin is constantly adapting to my body. And I had enough skin um, around here to not need a face transplant, but it is my original skin, so I do not need to take any medication for the rest of my life. Thank goodness.